friend. Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 28. For this reaction, chlorine gas uh, molecule, sorry, atom to become molecule. What is the sign of delta H and delta S? So here if you see, bond is formed right, from atom to molecule. So when bond is formed, energy is released. Energy is released, delta H has to be negative. Talk about entropy. When the bond is formed, the entropy decreases. Why? Because bond is formed, this uh, atoms has less space to move around. So entropy decreases, so delta S is negative. Correct? So here in this case, both delta H and delta S has to be negative. For the reaction, whatever reaction is given, find the delta G, the Gibbs free energy exchange, and predict whether the reaction is spontaneous or see delta G is nothing but delta H minus T delta S. Delta S is given. Delta H is not there. First, we have to find delta H. So, delta H is nothing but delta U plus delta NG RT. Delta U is given, I can find delta H, change enthalpy. So, let's find change enthalpy first. So change enthalpy is nothing but delta U plus delta N of gas into R. How many moles of gas is changed? So, this is uh, 2 here, this is 1 and plus 1, 3 here. So 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So delta N is minus 1. Let's put the value. Delta U is minus 10.5 plus delta N is minus 1 into R is 8.314 into 10 to the power minus 3. Why we are dealing with kilojoules here? Into T. What is the temperature? The temperature is 298 Kelvin. Why? Because everything is standard, right? With the round shape is standard. So with this, you get minus 12.978 kilojoule per mole. That is my delta H. So I have delta H. I can find delta G easily now with this equation. So delta G is nothing but delta H minus T delta S. Delta H is 12.978 kilojoule per mole minus T is 298, the standard one, into delta S is again minus 44.1 joule per it is joule per Kelvin, I have to multi make it to kilojoule, so I will multiply by 10 to the power minus 3, so this becomes kilojoule per. Right, this becomes, this comes in kilojoule actually. So if you solve this, this is minus 12.978 kilojoule. This becomes plus 13.112 kilojoule. And that is nothing but 0 0.134 kilojoule. 0.113. Convert into joule, that is that's all in, in, in kilojoule. Since what I'm bothered about is this is positive, this is positive, that's all. Since this is positive, my reaction is non spontaneous, right? That's what I'm bothered about is 0 0.0134. Correct. The equilibrium constant for reaction is 10. What is the value of uh, delta G where R is given and T is given? Delta G, I know equilibrium is uh, minus 2.303 RT log K. Right? It's a G naught. That becomes minus 
R is 8.314, T is 300 Kelvin, log of K is log of T. So you solve this, you get minus 5527 Joule per mole, that is minus 5.527 kilojoule per mole. Very easy. Just you know in equilibrium, delta G naught is minus 2.303 RD log. Very just application of the formula. We have to comment on the stability of NO given this equation. So half NO2 plus half N2 plus half O2 gives NO and NO plus half O2 gives NO. So you have to comment the stability of both actually NO and NO2. Let's take for the NO first equation. Delta H, if you see, is positive. Delta H is positive, it's unstable. For NO2, delta H is negative, that is stable. Easy one. See, delta H is negative, that means it's stable. Delta H is positive, it's positive. So to find the entropy change in surrounding when one mole of water is formed under certain condition. So entropy of surrounding is nothing but Q of surrounding by T or Q of system by T actually we have done this equation. We he have told that uh, this is one way of finding the entropy of surrounding by relating with Q. And what is the Q? Q is nothing but minus of delta h will be minus delta h by t. So what is, what is minus delta h? Minus of minus 286 kilojoule per mole by t. t is what? t is standard temperature 298 Kelvin. This will be in kilojoule. So this becomes 0.95 9 kilojoule per mole per kelvin kilojoule per mole per kelvin make it in zero it looks good 959 joule per mole per kelvin easy one thank you visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.